Hi YouTube, my name's Jay. Welcome back to the small but kind of growing channel. In this video, I'm gonna go over a blog post that I wrote that goes over the Trendbot and Marginbot backtest results. These were compared to Bitcoin and about the 20 coins that Trendbot and Marginbot were based off of, just buy and holding those coins. So if you'd like to learn more about Trendbot and Marginbot and how it would have performed in the past from 2017 until 2021, then continue watching. All right, so here we are at Tradium.io. To go to the blog post, just go to the website here and then click blog and the first one. So Trendbot is a dual momentum trading strategy. So it uses absolute momentum to determine if a coin in your portfolio will have a position at all. And it uses relative momentum to determine how much of a position to have if the absolute momentum is positive. So it'll rebalance your portfolio to coins with a larger momentum. And if all coins are in downtrends, then it'll go into USDT. Looking at the back test here, this one is from 2017 to 2018. Before I continue, I want to make it clear that back tests like this should not be used to extrapolate results into the future because they could easily, um, the relationships found in the strategy and the market could be completely different in the future. Who knows, even the strategy, the exact opposite rules could perform the best in the future. So don't put all your money into anything based on a back test or any of your money at all, really. This is just for information purposes only. So looking back at the 2017, 2018, the strategy went up to 15 X in the last three months of the bull market while buy and holding the 20 coins in the strategy would have been under 10 while Bitcoin was under five. So all the way at the bottom, you could see the coins that were part of the back test which are all right here and the months that the back tests were from. And zooming out to 2017 to 2021 on the log chart, because on the linear scale, such as on this one, these two lines would just look completely flat while this one would be going parabolic. So you get more meaningful information by looking at the log chart. And you could see here it would have made about 300 times your money, including estimated trading costs during that time while buy and hold would have been around 10 to 15. Marginbot builds on the Trendbot dual momentum approach, but it uses a third layer of momentum, in this case called triple momentum, which looks at the average trend strength of all your coins in your portfolio. So we then use that triple momentum value to analyze Trendbot's expectancy, or what's the average return per period of time, and the volatility of the Trendbot returns relative to that triple momentum value. So down at the bottom, we have the triple momentum value. And on the y-axis, we have the expectancy. So as you can see, there's sort of a, a linear relationship between the triple momentum score. So if the triple momentum score is indicating that the coins are in a strong uptrend in your portfolio, then it's expected that Trendbot would, will perform better than if there is a weak trend in your portfolio or a downtrend on average. So that's a pretty clear relationship right here and Marginbot uses that to, to its advantage. And same thing here with the volatility of Trendbot's returns relative to the average trend strength of your portfolio. So this is a negative thing where you don't want a lot of volatility in your portfolio and it shows that when the coins are kind of going parabolic in your uh, portfolio of coins, then there's a lot of volatility. And this is more of an exponential relationship rather than the linear relationship with the Trendbot expectancy. So Marginbot uses these two relationships to its advantage. It is rewarded with expectancy of course because the higher the expectancy of that trade or that day or that week the better and it is punished by volatility so the function that the margin multiple which is used to multiply trend bots positions to get margin bots positions again uses those two relationships and it does it by 
again, punishing um, volatility. So this would be expectancy. And it punishes volatility. So it would sort of be the inverse of the volatility relationship with the triple momentum indicator. And after that, we get something like something like that. After adding those two. So based on this function, we multiply trend bots positions by it to get margin bot. So if it's at 2.0, which in this case is indicating a strong uptrend, but not too extreme where there's that exponential volatility then it would have a multiple of 2.0. So double trend bots positions with the use of margin trading on the Binance exchange accounts to get margin bots positions. Now after applying the margin multiple function to trend bot strategy, we get the following back test here. So this is the linear chart from September 2017 to September 2018, just like up here. And by using that margin multiple function, we're able to really capitalize on these exponential moves where there's really strong, um, strong trends and even protect during the downside, just like Trendbot did. And then now zooming out to 2017 to 2021 on the log chart, we see that even during the bear market, it, um, it kept a lot of its profits from the last three months of the bull and then continued its rip up. Now summarizing a bit of the statistics, so Bitcoin buy and holding during that period would have been 14 times your money. Buy and hold the 20 coins right here would have been 20 times your money. Trend bought 350 times and margin bought 4,300 times. And Another thing to note is the total position. So Bitcoin was buy and holding it the whole time and same with HODL during the 1,284 days. So its total positions was that. Trendbot wasn't always in the market. Sometimes it was in USDT. So it was in the market about two thirds of the time and a bit more with margin bot because there's more total positions when there's margin applied. Then we can get the expectancy of the four different options here. So buy and hold Bitcoin would only be 0.21%, still really high per day. And then as you go down, it gets a higher expectancy. Again, I want to make it clear that these back tests are for educational purposes only. It's not likely to perform like that in the future, and you should certainly not put your money on the line based off that. It's just for educational purposes and to show you what margin bot and trend bot theoretically would have done in the past on historical data. This doesn't mean this will happen in the future, but if you'd like if you like this content then please like and subscribe if you want to watch more like this.